Hello and welcome to this video on securing infrastructure pipelines with Azure Security Kit. ARM templates are great till you make a minor mistake and expose your resources to vulnerabilities. You could accidentally deploy a blob store unencrypted. You could very well deploy a SQL database without encryption, without threat protection. And that gives uh, hackers a clear surface area for attack. Now, you'd almost hope that it'd be great to scan your ARM templates in an automated fashion and catch such vulnerabilities. Well, this video is perfectly aligned to your expectations because I'm going to demo to you how easy it is to leverage the Azure Security Kit, plug it into the pipelines, and scan templates uh, dynamically for such vulnerabilities. So without further ado, let's get right into the demo. The Security DevOps Kit task is available within the Visual Studio Marketplace. It's not natively installed within your Azure DevOps solution, but you can install it from, for free from within the marketplace. I've already installed it for our Geeks organization. I've got a repository here which contains various ARM templates. As you can see, I've got some ARM templates for deploying SQL on VMs, deploying SharePoint, deploying web apps, and a lot of other stuff. What I'm going to do is set up a pipeline that uses this task and scans all these templates and tells me whether they align with the best practices or not. So let's start off by creating a vanilla build definition. I'm going to create an empty job and then start off by adding the ARM template checker task. As the task uh, tells you right from its name, the intention here is for this task to scan any ARM templates that you throw at it. So I'm going to map my um, repository parts unlimited lab, which has all the templates. I have to specify the folder path where the templates are. are. I'm going to select the root folder, which is templates. Now you have some options to exclude files, include certain files, but I'm going to leave it at that and run with the defaults. Let's save and queue a pipeline. As you can see, the Azure Security Kit's task is being executed, and it's scanning the infrastructure templates to see if there are any vulnerabilities. And as it scans through the templates, it's identified certain vulnerabilities. Therefore, it's failed the build. Now, we can click in the task to get to the level of detail. Alternatively, we can download the log files and look at a CSV report, which would tell us all the shortcomings and the possible resolutions uh, to remediate the shortcomings. OK, as you can see um, within the summary report, we're able to see which all resource types have been scanned, what type of vulnerability do they have, what is the reason for the vulnerability, and what is a possible resolution for them. For example, this one is, is a good one, where we're using a Cosmos DB, but in our ARM template, we haven't specified any firewall rules, which means the Cosmos DB is open to all internet traffic. Another interesting one is Azure App Service. We're deploying an instance of the Azure App Service without any auditing on logging enabled. Again, this is a, this is a medium risk item, uh, but one that is fairly easy to mitigate. Coming back to the pipeline, you saw how easy it is to use one task to scan the 16, 18 different templates that I had. And this is a simple process that can scale itself to scan hundreds and thousands of templates. 
The benefit with this task is that it's open source. So if you have any custom rules that you want to scan against, it's very easy to extend the rule sets to include those custom rules as well. In the next part of the demo, I'm going to show you how you can also scan for uh, resource groups where these templates have been deployed. Because scanning the templates is one thing, but then after you have deployed the template and created a resource group, people can manually go in into those resource group and make configuration changes. Wouldn't it be great if you can continue to scan the resource group to see whether the deployed solution are still compliant to the actual configuration that you deployed from? There's another task for that. So let's get right back into the demo. So I'm going to start off by creating a release pipeline. Select an empty job. and select the Azure Security Kit Security Verification ta Test Task. As I come into this task, I have to select an Azure subscription against which I want to run the analysis, scan. This then gives me an option to specify a resource group name that I want to run the scan against. I'm going to, for example, pick this resource group that I have in the subscription, which has a web app deployed into it. And I also have to specify the subscription ID of the Azure resource uh, group resides in. The, the beauty of this task is that it natively integrates with uh, Azure OMS. So if you wanted to log all the security uh, verification checks against an OMS instance, so over time you can see uh, which security validations have passed or failed, then this task natively gives you that capability. All right, let's trigger a new release and see this pipeline in action. So the job execution has completed and has highlighted various issues in the resource group. Let's trace back and see the execution of the job. As we can see, it's scanning the app service instance and has summarized its findings into total 14 medium level issues, five high level issues, and one low level issue. As we scroll down, we can see that the app service is missing some of the fundamental security features that need to be enabled. Let's download the logs and review the results. OK. So I've, I've hidden some columns so that we can really focus on the meats of the report. As you can see, this is the control set that it's scanning against. This is the feature that it's scanning for. And this is the severity it would class the incident as. And here's the description of what it's scanning for. Now, as we can see, we don't have any custom SSL binding configured against the app service. We have remote debugging turned on for this um, app service instance. We have uh, no uh, always on configured. We haven't disabled uh, web sockets. And, and these are sort of vulnerabilities that can be heavily exploited. Now, the benefit with this task is that it supports fixing some of these issues by itself. And these are highlighted in this column here. So should you run this task in a corrective mode, it's able to actually identify the issues and fix them for you as well. But nevertheless, you know, in, in principle, being able to discover the issues in the first place is a good win. And then being able to work through the implementation of fixing them is the natural next step. As we talked about before, security cannot be an afterthought. Security cannot be a separate department. Security needs to be baked into your delivery lifecycle. The responsibility of security lies as much with the security teams as it lies with the developers. By using these intelligent tools like Azure Security Kit, we can empower the developers to implement security scans and security remediations right from the outset. I hope you found this video useful and will take the learnings from this and apply them in your own real projects.